Well, why aren't you running? From what? From me? Why would I be running from you? I mean, a mysterious stranger appearing doubled in a time resetting murder loop. If what you're saying is true, then it sounds like I would be the suspicious one. Oh, can't argue with you there. But I guess uh, I feel like there's something about you too. I mean, this is so crazy that I feel like I'm still in denial, but... There's something about you that makes me feel like you can't be the killer either. Take me to it. What? The sink downstairs. You said it resets time. You believe me? No, don't be ridiculous. But given the circumstances, I'd like to see what's making you act this way. Alright, I guess that's the best I could hope for. Come on, I'll show you. Is that really a good idea? I don't think it is given the fact that she or her twin or doppelganger, whatever it is, it's the one that's causing all of this. Causing all of this mess. At, at least she can kill us if there is a bunch of people in this place. Am I right? The door's locked. Oh yeah, there is one problem. Stay away! Let me try. Hey, um, are you alright in there? Go away! I'm not letting anyone in until my bodyguards get here. That's fine, I'm leaving. Could you just knock on the door every five minutes or so, though? What? Why? Just so we know you're alive, of course. I mean, you're all alone in there. If something happens, nobody will know. And who knows if there are other entrances. Those singled out are easy targets, after all. In fact, this murder podcast I was just listening to the other day said... <laughs> there. Why do you listen to murder podcasts? It's complicated. <laughs> okay, well, um... Now we know that she can be a meanie if she wants to. So that's not great. I'm still thinking this is a bad idea. Is this a thing you were talking about? Yeah. Alright, go ahead. Well, you see, it's pretty simple. I just wash my hands. Are you going to do it? I'm gonna do it. So I just wash my hands and all of a sudden it resets time. Oh, actually wait. What? You can't wash your hands with someone watching? No, it's just... Do you mind if we do it together? Why? I mean, maybe that way there's more of a chance that we both would travel in time. I don't really know how sync-related time travel works, but... I'm just tired of being the only crazy person every time I come out of this bathroom. This better not be some convoluted scheme to try something weird with me. Don't flatter yourself, there are cops, there are corpses outside and I'm not in the mood. <laughs> Alright then, go ahead. Yeah, people are not thinking that this is weird, isn't it? Like, I mean, they didn't see us both come in into the bathroom. <laughs> well, come on. Wait. What? Just in case this doesn't work. Can you tell me a secret so it's easier to convince you than we've met before? You're sounding more and more sketchy by the minute. I know. Lavender. Huh? Just lavender. Okay. I don't think it's gonna work this time. Wait! What? <laughs> you said you met me in these other supposed timelines. Yeah, I thought you didn't believe this. I don't, but... Never mind. Look, I'm just curious. What did I say to you? Well, we didn't really talk much, but... Oh, 
You did say there was something that you wanted to ask and show me. That was the first time I saw you, I think. Hmm. Any idea? Not a clue. Okay, let's get this over with. Right. <laughs> They're gonna... Someone is gonna... Wait! What? Never mind. I forgot what I was gonna say. Okay, let's do this. Oh man. This house... This house's water bill is gonna be so high. <laughs> yep. Told you. It wasn't gonna work. Is something supposed to happen? I don't know. I guess maybe it already happened. For the last few times, I just turned on the water and washed my hand like this. And closed my eyes like this. Then I opened my eyes and walked outside. And now she is gone. Lindry? Hey! Where did she go? Did it... Did it reset the time? It's been reset again. I guess I am the only one who can use the sink after all. At least it's easier to talk to Linry now. They should still be at the party room. Yeah, I guess we now have like a code word to prove that we're not crazy. Wait, if I find the body upstairs alone again, that might get me in trouble. I should get someone from the party to come with me. That makes sense. I like your thinking. I like your way of thinking. Um, hello? That light, so bright. Where is it coming from? Was there a light fixture in there? What? Isn't this the party room, though? They're supposed to be here. Huh. That's very strange. I don't know what's going on. I got no clue. This is very different from any of the games I've played. But I'm into it. Let's not go towards the room where she went. Because she probably went towards the... Towards... Toward this room, yeah, I'm not not gonna go there. Oh, okay, well, I guess there's no other option. Oh! Oh wait, but... Seems like we broke time. What is happening? I don't understand, what is this? Well, you see, maybe the flash was right. No matter how many times we try to fix the timeline, it will never be the same. <laughs> Man, just time travel is just something very, very confusing. But at the same time, it's really... It's like a really cool thing. The door is locked. What the? Well, would you look at that? Speaking of, Speaking of the flash... Look at how fast I am now. Jesus. The door won't open. Oh, was that the door? Wait, can I go through... What? Oh no. I mean... Now they can't say that it was me, cause... How... What the... How am I gonna be able to kill all of these people? Just one person killing everyone? Plus, it's the same people. It's not like I kill everyone in the party. Oh my god. What in the pug is happening here? Jesus. You know what? I'm out. I'm out of here. Right. The door's locked. Can't do anything. I'm not gonna go into the bathroom because I know that's gonna reset it. The chefs are gone. Hmm. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom and hope that I can fix this.
What is happening to me? What is happening to me? Good lord. Now that's a lot of... No, that's a lot of maze. <laughs> Can we stop? Jesus. It keeps going. <laughs> what in the... I can explain. Um... I promise I can explain. Even just one of you was enough trouble as it was. What the bug? Hey, wait! So, she is probably the one who's causing all of this. Hmm. Hey! Lindry! What is going on? I'm sorry. This was going to be about you, but then this happened. I ran more iterations, but I can't stop it. It keeps on happening, and it shouldn't. Wait, you can't just leave like that. Please, just tell me what's going on. That's actually what I've been trying to figure out myself. Seems like you weren't reset like the rest though. I guess that's one more thing to fix. R reset? But this is good, maybe you can show me what you saw. What I saw? Well, it all started when I went into the washroom earlier and then... Oh my god, this is some creepy black mirror. Hmm, you've seen some weird stuff. This might come in handy. What the fuck was that? Funny coincidence though, that really did make it... That really did make the thing seem like a time machine. But the chances that my resets line up so perfectly with this thing... Improbable. Are you even talking to me? Wait a minute, am I a robot? Sorry, as I said, I'm just a bit preoccupied right now. But basically, I created this world, and I created you. W what? What? <laughs> Wait, so... Am I connected to a VR headset right now? Is that what's happening? Maybe she's Eva. This wasn't something I wanted to show you, this iteration, but since I need to keep you around for reference, you might as well go and have a look. Hold on, just back up a minute. What do you mean you created? I mean, what even is this place? I think you'll find the answers inside here. Sorry you have to keep these weird memories though. I'll need them later for reference. But just try not to worry about it. Not worry about it? Yeah, don't worry about it. Go on, I'll meet you in there. But... But... But get your butt in there. <laughs> what a mess. Might as well let this one run its course. I guess the first time is never the charm. But to happen every time? Every time when... Wait a minute. I am not getting any of this. <laughs> am I dead? <laughs> hey! You said you would meet me in here. Huh. Maybe we can escape the, ma the matrix. Or maybe we we can do it, I don't know. Okay, if I am dead, then I've heard that you don't need to go towards the light. You don't gotta go towards the light. 
What if I try to go back? Or what if I try to stay in the darkness? Wasn't there a staircase here? Okay, maybe I do have to go towards the light. Do not go gentle into that good night. <laughs> maybe I am dying. Okay, act number two. Hmm. This looks very s lavender. Where am I? The river Lethe? It feels odd to just leave everything behind like this. But why did she send me here? Oh, okay. So maybe I am one of the scientists from Sig Corp. Sigmund Corp, but... I'm just not wearing my outfit. So, all of these have been... Ah, okay, yeah. All of these have been a memory. Hello? Hey! Memento? What was that? That was a memento, my friend. I mean, no, me memento's the big ones. Memory link. Now, now. Everyone stay together, okay? Peter, quit picking on easy like that. And Linry. Hey, Linry! I said don't go far from the group, especially you. Linry? Is this the past? But how? So we knew them before? We were friends from childhood or...? Now Linry, I have specific instructions from your parents that... Hey, stop running! <laughs> oh man, kids. Kids. Okay, if you do that again... Hey, the doctor said your participation on this trip is conditional. Linry, if you don't watch it. Linry! Oh no. Is she arrived? Linry? Everything here froze as soon as she fainted. Does that mean this place is all based on her? I mean, maybe. Maybe it is some... If it is a memory... Where is the memento though? I'm supposed to deposit uh, these memory links inside the memento. Oh, that's it. This barrier... Hey! Hadouken! Can I do something else before I leave? She fainted. Hmm. I still have no clue what's going on. Oh, they called the doctor. Did she die? Hmm. Oh no. Bad news, huh? Sorry, Dad. This was all my fault, wasn't it? You should have been more careful, Linry. But no, it isn't all your fault. Do you think I'll still be able to go on more class trips? Well, we'll have to see what the doctor says. Just be patient and we'll try our best, okay? Okay. Hmm. 
This is the second time it's happened, isn't it? Yeah, we thought it was a one-off. We, we really shouldn't have allowed her to go without close supervision. Well, fortunately, the fall was cushioned. These early symptoms can be dangerous. Experimental drugs for them are on the horizon. But in the long run, could one of you stay here with Lindry? As for the other, please come with me. Hmm. Okay, so mom is the one who's staying. It's going to be okay, Lindry. Okay, I kind of want to know what the doctor is telling her that. I can't hear what they're saying. Is it... Is it because she couldn't? Oh, so we are. So we are indeed like a doctor from Sigmund Corp. And we are investigating her life. Okay, now I think it makes more sense. But then how is she able to control? Or maybe, oh, I don't know. I mean, they do have the ability to change the appearances, but I didn't know they could look like someone else. Exactly like someone else. I don't know, man. This is so confusing. Whose house is this? Landry? Hey, how you doing? But when will it happen? Tomorrow? Years down the road? Hey, it's not certain that it will turn malignant, right? There's a chance that it will never surface. But there's a chance that it will. Then we'll treat it. If we start the treatment as soon as it worsens, if it worsens, then we have another chance, right? That didn't make sense. If we start the treatment as soon as it worsens, if it worsens, then we have another chance, right? Okay, still doesn't make any sense, but I, it looks like I read it correctly. <laughs> still, it's just... I just feel like there's so much left to mere chance. Linry? What are you doing here, Lin? I can't sleep. Aww. Is there something wrong with me? Don't worry, Lin. It's nothing. We can get through it together. Is that what's keeping you up? No. Oh, then what's the matter? The doctor said I can't go on any field trips anymore, didn't he? Not for now, but they're working on something that will help. Oh. Are you sad that you had to end the trip early today? Yeah. I didn't want to leave so soon. Everyone else got to stay the whole day. Let's go back then. Go back when? Why not now? Really? It's late, Bill. Oh, there's no harm in a little nighttime excursion now and then. Besides, I've got just the thing for it. Hooray! Are you coming, Mom? It's okay, I'll stay. I'll make some warm soup for you when you two get back. Okay. Cute. You got anything to say? No? No words? I guess that's understandable. The door is locked. Are you changing clothes? Aww. You ready? Wow, is that really a telescope? Sure is. And I'll show you how it works too. I'm gonna put it in the car, okay? Okay, I'm gonna say bye to mom. She kind of reminds me to the little girl that the the other kid invented. Faye? Oh. Oh my gosh, she's crying. I don't think she was supposed to see that. Okay, sorry, I had to check. I, I had to check if I was recording. <laughs> there we go. Well, I was expecting it to get sad, given the fact that it's Ken. 
or Kangao, whatever his name, however his name is pronounced. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be. I don't mean. I don't mean to sound rude or anything. I just, like, I mean, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's the light again. Linry, is that you? So maybe this is the field where they went to. Cool. This is the place where she fainted. And this is the place where, yeah. Her dad took her here. So that's why it's like a very important place for her. It says here that it should be just a bit to the west, but there are just so many of them. How can you track one down? Hmm. I think I found it. You did? I want to see. Wow, I can't believe it. It really does look like the pictures in the book. Hey, didn't I tell ya? You name it, and I'll find it. What if they don't have a name? All those stars. They don't all have names yet, do they? Well, why don't you come up here and see for yourself? <laughs> hey, Dad. Do you think there's a star up there with my name? There's already a star with your name, Larry. It's just not up there. What? Oh. That's cheesy, Dad. <laughs> I actually did not find that cheesy. I found it sad. I still like the lavender more, but I'll admit, these stars are pretty cool too. Hmm. You know what's amazing about them, Lynn? Cool. Even though those stars will shine so brightly, many of them already have been gone for a long time. Yeah, that I'm, I'm probably gonna ruin the mood over here, but that's um, that's something interesting about space and something confusing about it as well. The thing about stars is that you're looking at the at the, at the explosion that happened years ago, pretty much. Gone? Yeah, even the stars don't last forever. Yeah, so what you're looking is literally just the explosion that happened years ago. Like, yeah, it's just so confusing. I even if the sun were to explode right now, we wouldn't know until eight minutes. Because that's how long it takes for the sunlight to reach Earth. Eight minutes and a half, I think. Something like that. But then, why do we still see them? Well, that's because during the time they were here, they shine so brightly that their light travels so far it reaches us even now. Wow. I suppose I should thank them then. Without them, I wouldn't be able to see the lavender field. Well, then maybe you should thank the lavender too. Because without them, there will be nothing to see, right? Yeah. The lavender may not be in the sky, but I like them better that way. I can play in them, smell them, and see them up close. The stars are all so far away, but I guess they got their own part to do too. I wouldn't change a thing about either of them. Wouldn't change a thing, huh? So if you could be either, which would you rather be? Hmm. Well, I still like lavender more, so... So I want to be a star. Why a star, if you like lavender more? Duh, Dad. To make sure everyone can see the lavender, of course. I would shine down on this field so bright and make it as light as day. And then, everybody could always see just how lovely it is. Sounds like you would make a wonderful star, Lynn. 
that's sad. That's sad because of the information that we know now. This is nice, Dad. I wish we could stay up late and come here every week. But, Dad, could I ask you something? Yes, Lynn. Why was Mom crying? Uh oh. This. <laughs> this kind of reminds me to something, though. I think one of. No, no, it wasn't Eva. I think it was Dr. Watts. Wasn't it Dr. Watts who said that? Oh, but it wasn't his dad, it was his uncle, I think. They, they would go to the field and observe the stars. I just don't remember if it was Dr. Watts or if it was Eva. Unless her name is... No, because Eva is Rosaline. It's not Linry Eva, so... Maybe this is just a whole different... Uh, story. This has nothing to do with, with them. Cute. I mean, a birthday party? She still has to go to the doctor and probably it's probably on meds. Nice. Stunning. Cool giraffe. I guess they went to the zoo. Just like the giraffes. The peppered moth is also used as an example of natural selection. Although the experiment has been debated, the hypothesis remains unchanged. That when genetic mutation occurs, natural selection decides whether it lives on or dies out. If the mutation is good, then the organism is more likely to survive and pass on its genes. And if the mutation is harmful, it's less likely to survive and reproduce, thus filtering itself out. I'm talking about evolution over here, huh? Hmm. I wonder if I am one of these. I... I'm sorry, I'm just confused. I just want to know, because... <laughs> We usually start from... I mean, it makes sense, right? We usually start from the future and then we go back to the past. All the way to the childhood memories. I don't know, it's been a while. You feeling okay, Lenry? I'm fine. Why? Well, for one, you seem upset. And then there's the whole living in the middle of a class thing. I just didn't want to waste time, that's all. I was already familiar with the topics being taught. So, just skip class to read? What even is that? Microbiology. Oh, come on, just skip Stacy's parties, but have time for freaking micro blah blah blah. High school years are for making memories. Huh, you got an interesting point. Hey, where are you going? I'm going to find some books on the information of memories. That's not what I meant. <laughs> I know, but thanks anyway. <laughs> I mean, it's high school. They have to... They had to hit maturity, right? So that's why their voice sounds a bit deeper. <laughs> it's definitely not a mistake on my part. Their, their voice sounds deeper because they're in high school now. <laughs> College. I'm glad to see that at least she, she was able to, you know, live her life. Even though she, she had an illness or something. Because she went to college, she graduated high school. What is she looking for? Hmm, she wants to be a scientist. I guess this is college still, right? Still a bit behind schedule, isn't it? Yeah, I'll catch up. There's still a lot to analyze, but at least I have the data now. Mm-hmm, good. A 
I know it's a lot, but yours is the one I'm looking forward to the most. No pressure. Nice. So is she stunning herself? Maybe. Maybe she's stunning micro I mean microbio microbiology. Maybe she's stunning to get a cure for her illness. Some people tend to do that. Hmm. We're not even halfway done. Which is great. <laughs> Oh no. Silence. That probably means it's a bad episode. That's it. I'm dropping now. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not for everyone. I understand. I guess this place is no joke. But come to think of it, why do I feel as if... as if I graduated from somewhere just like this? Ah, what did I tell you? I knew it! So they didn't meet during childhood, but... What the bug? They met somewhere. They met somewhere at this point in her life. Excuse me? Is this seat free? Seems like it. Cool. <laughs> Wait. If this is supposed to be the past... And my past too... How come I don't remember this at all? I mean, this place is familiar and all, but... Hey, why is it getting darker? Did she faint again? Oh, she fell asleep. Oh no! What? Is it really night time already? Oh man, guess so. You dose off too, huh? Yeah, can't believe this. This is the second time this week. It's going to mess up my sleep schedule. You look a little burnt out. Yeah, well, who isn't nowadays? Point. <laughs> uh, actually, how do you fall asleep like that? Um, well... Jet lag? Jet lag? Yeah, I just came back from backpacking around the world. Wow, lucky. Yeah. But now I gotta catch up. Wait, you mean... You literally just took a trip in the middle of a semester? Yep. Why? I don't know. <laughs> He was bored, I guess. <laughs> Alright, maybe I should go back to work when I'm still sane. Me too, I got a bunch of essays to catch up on. Ruff, what's your major? I'm majoring in li... Li... Liberal Arts. Oh. Liberal arts can be very useful. I didn't even say anything. That was unprovoked. Look, I'm being sincere. I don't know why you guys get so much flack around here. Psh, what are you majoring in? I'm in the... New... Well, it's a little embarrassing. It's okay, go on, what is it? Neuroscience doctorate, technically. You bastard. <laughs> so what are you working on, becoming a doctor? Well, no, I'm more into the research side. 
My paper is on the synaptic modification and encoding of memories. Huh. What's wrong? It's nothing. Well, it's gonna be a long night. I'm gonna go grab some coffee from across the hall. You want one too? Sure, thanks. My name is Quincy, by the way. I'm Linry. Nice meeting you. Linry. Never heard that name before. We knew each other, but I don't recall any of it. I wonder why. I called it. I knew they met before in their childhood. No. They became study partners, it seems. Yeah. Is that how it's gonna go? Nice. <laughs> cool. So they're becoming very good friends. Yep. Still studying together. Just say it already, dude. <laughs> Just say it. There we go. Where is this gonna take us? Hmm. Nice. Very nice. Cute. They're not eating together though. Hey brother, why don't you eat with her? Oh, that's... Hmm, that's kind of sad. <laughs> Very nice. So, did you ever... Oh, there we go. This is probably it. Did you ever tell her what you were feeling? Guess we'll never know. <laughs> How long have I been recording? <laughs> uh... So sorry about that. Ah, I think we can still keep going. And how about the Eiffel Tower? Yeah, it was quite a sight. I mean, there are a lot of taller structures nowadays, but... There's just something about the way it stands alone in the horizon. It sounds nice, seeing all of those places up close. I wonder if it's different from the pictures. Are you kidding? Of course it's different. It's standing beneath the proof of civilization, close enough to reach out and touch history. I hope your anthropology professor shares the same level of enthusiasm. The Eiffel Tower, the Pyramids of Giza, the Great Wall. Honestly, I've always wanted to go too. Then why don't you? I mean, if I'm able to save up for a trip, I'm sure you could too. No, it's just... I don't have the time. Don't have the time? She can travel. She can go on planes. I know you're busy, but surely you can spare a few weeks. It's not just that. I chose my path a long time ago, Quincy. I have to find a place where I leave a mark, but I don't know how long I have to get there. It's, ni it's nice catching glimpses of the scenery as I go, but if I were to stop and smell the roses, I'm afraid I would realize how nice it is and just stay. I see. That's quite a dramatic way to put it. But it's also kind of romantic. 
Reminds me of those stars in the sky. Huh? Like, they shine and bring the earth below but can be a part of this world themselves. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Our time here is so limited, I always feel such a pressure to make something of it. Nah, well, I guess that always had a different effect on me. When I think of how limited our time here is, I can't help but want to simply just enjoy it while it lasts. I guess it's kind of a selfish in comparison. There's nothing wrong about simply wanting to experience the world. Sounds like something my grandma would say. Um, I mean that in the nicest way, of course. It's just, she always lived life one day at a time, in the purest sense. Were you and your grandma close? Sure. M my parents passed away in an accident when I was young, so she brought me up. I'm sorry to hear. Well, it was a long time ago. But I remember when it first happened. People thought Grandma was heartless because... Well, because she seemed to move on with her new life and routine rather fast. But I knew it wasn't because of that. She still grieved and re reminisced about them every day, missing them. But she just had this view on life. She was just grateful to be here, to take the blissful with the tragic, to be reborn each day. She always joked that even if the world ended tomorrow, she would still be okay with it. Even if the world ended tomorrow. I envy her. I'm not sure if I would be able to live day to day like that. I mean neither. I guess it did rub off on me a bit through the years. She passed away not long before, before we first met, actually. Developed O. Oh, Alzheimer later in life, and complications got her. When we first met... Is that why you went on the trip? You know, when you told me about your paper when I came back, I really questioned the path I had chosen. I thought, there's someone whose work could make a difference. And here I am, just prancing through life for myself. It's not exactly an altruistic choice on my part either, to be honest. It's more like an impulse. In a way, I wish I could feel content just being carefree and having fun, but I can't. Sometimes I wonder if I would be bitter about it in the end. Well, sounds like maybe we could keep each other in check. Maybe we could. Hey, what do you think if... If, I mean, I know we hang out now and then already, but what if we do that, but more? Like, I know this place outside campus that makes the best avocado salad. Are you asking me out? Well, if you put it that way, yeah, I guess I am. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. It's because I'm a liberal arts major, isn't it? 